Well, I mentioned it earlier that we're seeing a pattern here for the entire month of February. Notice go back to the first Saturday in February. Cold shot of air came in, then we warmed up. We saw it last weekend, cold shot of air on Saturday. Then we warmed up. Well, guess what? We're going to repeat that process today as it's going to be the end of the warm period. A cold shot in here for tomorrow, then we'll warm up on the back side of it going into uh, next week. Uh, temperatures still holding relatively mild east of Highway 17. That front hasn't quite got here yet. 76 in New Bern, 72 in Havelock. I saw 78 was the top temperature I saw in New Bern here an hour or two ago. Again, that's out ahead of the front in the rainfall with those gusty southwesterly winds. Uh, those winds will start to change direction and calm down as that front gets a little bit closer towards us here going through this afternoon. Light to moderate rain showers, especially off towards the north. Washington County back in towards Martin County along Highway 64. Seeing some of those light to moderate showers there just south of Janesville and just south of Roper. Again, nothing that severe, but we notice that trend as this is pivoting eastbound here, a little bit of sunshine we saw along the coastals Onslow and Carteret County are now starting to fill back in and this front is going to continue to make its way towards the coast. Notice all that colder air as that northwesterly winds kicking in on the back side of this with a big high pressure that's going to be sliding in our direction as that front slides off of the coast. We'll gradually see those winds switch around from southwest to northwest by later on this afternoon as that front slides through. Again, I can't rule out maybe a rumble of thunder along the coastal areas here, but nothing that would be severe. As we head towards midnight, that front is offshore. Northerly winds start to kick in. We'll see the clouds clear out and those temperatures nosedive. We'll start off near that freezing mark early tomorrow morning. And with that northerly wind, it won't be as strong as today, but Upper 40s to maybe near 50 for top temperatures. Yeah, definitely much colder. A shock to the system coming our way as we head through the day tomorrow and then to start off near that freezing mark again as we go through the early morning hours on Sunday. You'll notice though a little bit more high mid level clouds built in through the day on Sunday, kind of that partly sunny filtered sunshine appearance in the sky. And as a result, those winds go more southerly. We warm back up to the upper 50s and low 60s, maybe a spotty shower here or there, but not really going to be that big of a deal of rainfall on Sunday. And we'll continue with that warming trend. Like I said, the pattern repeats itself as we head into next week. So after a short, sharp cold shot coming our way for tomorrow, we are going to be warming those temperatures up back into the 60s and eventually the 70s by the middle of next week as the pattern repeats.